What's good, people? Yeah, what? It's your guy, the host of the most amount of plan, G E C G and my Nilla. It's your number one Boston hater. Yeah. Yo, it's your boy, Da Vinci. Starve the ego, feed the soul. Mm. We got a series now, people. We got a series right. now. For all y'all suckers, okay? Oh, let me solo this. For all you suckers that thought we was going to go out, yeah, tell me on my taste. Huh? Wait, wait, Pause. wait. wait all right? what, what suckers, bro? Like, you remember what I said. What did I say? What I'm do I always say? You, fam. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just saying. You no, we're speak. going at these. We're going at these suckers right now. You know, we're double R in them. If they don't know what that means. Right? <laughs> what do I always say? I'm not a big fan of game one. Because exactly how I describe it in context and detail, why I'm not a big fan of game one is what we saw in game two, King. Yo, and shout out to Sly, our guy hopefully we'll be having for the next live. Okay? Just know that we're doing that for that. We're going to do it for football. We're going to do it for, for some boxing. And for MMA, whatever we can get the chance to get the whole crew together, okay? Might have some new additions, might not. Don't really matter. Anyways, back to business. Oh, also, Sly was Sly was almost accurate. He said that they won, they would win by 18. They won by 12. So he was six points off. So yet again, shouts out to Sly. You know what I mean? That, that That's the for game one, one, right? Pardon me? That was, for, oh, that was for game one or game two? Yeah, yeah, Sly. for for the live commentary. Shouts out to okay. Sly, though. You know what I'm saying? He, he, you know what I mean? He came through. You know what I mean? He, he's the number one uh, Golden State hater. But it, we even cover for him because at least he's respectful. It's the rest of y'all suckers out here talking crazy, all right? We got a series now, all right? Hold on, hold on, hold on there. It's not even, it's not even the casual fans that was talking reckless. It's like turning the TV on the next day and you see these supposed to be pros Pros at this level, not two guys sitting in their couches or game chairs talking about sports. On that level, talking about oh, the war is done. It's like I don't even know if they're gonna win another game. Like, are you kidding me? Off game one? So people like to get reckless? No, no, fam. Let, let's be honest, okay? I had numerous conversations with people. I've been talking all day, so people don't mind me, okay? I'm gonna be super spicy. I'm gonna add so much sauce on this. You're going to say too much sauce, all right? Listen, I understand that Boston is a good defensive team. And I've been saying it this whole playoffs. This whole playoffs. One of the best defenses in the league, okay? But offensively, they play ISO. And we seen that in game two. Game one, they did it. But the problem was, Golden State does the one thing that makes me so agitated. Every time they play with their freaking food, man. Stop Golden State. They, Golden, they get cute listen. with the ball. You know what I'm saying? Sets me off, fam. Listen, Golden State lost game one, right? As much as Boston, listen, I'm the Boston hater. I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of it, <laughs> right? I'll tell you all day, every day. I'm very proud of it. But listen, I'm I'm always gonna keep it real. They're amazing. Uh, defensive team, absolutely amazing. And what they did this year is even more amazing to have that type of turnaround. You know, but the Warriors lost game two. Third give quarter, me, they let it game one, away. Game one. game one, yes, thank you, pardon me. Um, you know, they let it slip away. Fourth quarter, let it got even worse. Right? Um, yeah. Now, we got game two. Like I said, we're sitting there and I was like, ah, bro. It's game one. People overreacting. I don't get it. Are we and these people that are overreacting, going crazy, are former professional players and sports uh, analysts that's supposed to be watching and know the NBA ins and out? And like, come on, I, we have never seen this before. I've seen this millions of times. That's why I said I'm not a big fan of game one. Right? And in my context and details that I give you. Go back and watch our videos, people. Like, comment, and subscribe. Then you'll see your boys are just not talking these nonsense. Yo, yo I just want to say this, okay? The Warriors shot 45% yesterday. Guess what Boston shot? 37. So, yo, I told y'all. 
I asked this question before, not, not with the Vinci, with another group of gentlemen. Do you believe that Boston was going to shoot the same that they did in the first game? And I was told, oh, yeah, I believe it. I believe it. Let me run down some stats for y'all. Just so y'all understand where I'm coming from, okay? So, we're going to go to three-pointers. Even. Okay? Mm -hmm. They both shot 37 three-pointers. Ridiculous. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's a 70-plus right there, okay? Now, 40.5. Both teams. So, they was even with the three-point battle, okay? Free throws. The Warriors shot three more than them, okay? They're at 70%. Um, Boston's at 76. The rebounding, they only, Boston only won by one rebound. One rebound, okay? Same amount of offensive rebounds, okay? Assists, the Warriors had one more. Blocks, Boston had seven to two. So you, mm. like, just looking at the stats, without looking at the final score, you would have been like, okay, you know, should be a tight game, right? Turnovers, 18 to 12. Points in the paint, 40 to 24. Okay? My Warriors was eating. All right? Now, oh, for all, you, all... You, you, wait, you forgot one of the biggest ones, too. I think it's Steelers was like 15 to 2, if I'm not mistaken, or somewhere in yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, something area. like that. That was, that was huge because in the third quarter, um, they're just active. They were active on defense. Their hands are all over the place. And you know what, too? It's The score could have been worse because the Warriors, they left a lot of points to the free throw line. And God damn it, please explain to me why they left, why they left so many points in the paint as easy layups that they're blowing. So, if all those, they hit all those, it could have been a worse lead. Oh, oh, for sure, for sure. Now I, I'm gonna get to I'm gonna get to some of the plays and the minutes and the rebounds and all that stuff, just so y'all understand. Like it's not just me reading off stats. I'm gonna explain to you how I look at it. Same thing with Da Vinci, okay? So Jason Tatum, very efficient night, very inefficient, inefficient night. He still got 28 points, three assists, six rebounds. You know what I mean? Hmm. Didn't help the team. Horford, 28 minutes, eight rebounds, one assist, two points. There was a point in time in the game where he had Curry underneath the basket. Clay came to help. He was afraid to go up. I don't know, man. Maybe it's too much sauce. All right? Robert Williams, don't expect much from him. He's injured. I mean, his ankle got rolled up again yesterday. Two yeah. points, one assist, two rebounds, right? 14 minutes. Jalen Brown, 17 points. A very inefficient 17 points. At that, people, okay? Three assists, six rebounds. Mark, you're smart. You play 25 minutes and all you can give me is two points? I mean, I understand the five assists, but two points? Jeez. And he got sat down. Hold on. You know what? I'm going to save it for the next one. I ain't going to save it. Grant Williams, six points, one and one, okay? Let's go over to the Warriors. I just, I just want to look at the Warriors real quick here. So Draymond, you know, he gets his typical 9.7 assists, 5 rebounds, 35 minutes. That's a Draymond game. Yeah. We're not asking Draymond for more than maybe 10 points, okay? Don't get it twisted. All right? Oh, Wiggins. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, sir. No, like, you see those stats and you said, oh, Draymond had a horrible game. There's more There's more contact and detail towards, towards his game. Um, so. Oh, he was you know, defensively, he, he was locked in from the jump. I mean, yeah. the first play of the game, he, he, he caused them to have a – uh, a, a toss-up, right? A jump ball. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Wiggins, pedestrian, 11, 2, and 6. I mean, you know, I, I would want more from Wiggins, but Wiggins is playing defense. So, yeah. I know defensively, him giving us 11, that's good. With six rebounds and two assists. Kevon Rodman Looney. Hey, listen. he He's he's serious. He got 12 points, seven rebounds, two assists, right? My guy, Stephen Curry, he, he was one point off. Yo, what's up, man? Yeah, but I'm doing the podcast right now. You know why? Yes, I know why. I, I'm doing the podcast right now, though. <laughs> I'm doing the podcast right now, though. Okay. I'll I love you. Right after. I'm going to bring you to the tutor in like a minute here. Close the door, please. Let's go. Mr. Tayson. Who does? Me. 
That's what your mom said? Okay, all right, okay. Close the door, miss. I appreciate you. Thank you. Little one's always over here mucking it up, but I love her though. You know what I mean? She always wanted to tell me what's good. Um, let me let me get back to what I was saying here. So Stephen Curry, 29, 4 and 6. It wasn't an efficient 29. Like, to be honest, the Warriors shot pretty bad. Individually, like when you look at like their shot attempts and their actual field goal percentage, they didn't shoot the greatest. Okay? But the turnovers and the defense that they played was their offense. And you know what I mean? It did their thing. Clay Thompson. Now hold on. We I'm gonna have to single myself up for this one, man. I gotta single myself up for this one. All right, listen. The Clay Thompson slander will stop. I'm tired. He been injured for two years. Y'all think Clay gonna come out here and give you 30 every night? Y'all need to take your head out of your woo-ha. That's one. Two. He's pretty much his first year back, and where are they? You gonna nah. tell me they gonna make it in without him? And I ain't nah. talking to Da Vinci because Da Vinci's very sound with his. You know what I mean? That's one thing I love about my family. He's he's not like me. I'm, I'll jump right out the window with Ish. He's like he's very measured with what he says and how he conducts himself. Me, I don't give a flying f. I'll <laughs> jump out the window. I don't give a damn. But I am not going to listen to anybody else. Who talks to me about Clay Thompson's play mediocre? I'm going to tell him, take your mediocre ass back to wherever you came from and leave me the hell alone, okay? I just wanted to state that back to business, okay? Uh, yeah. Um, oh, okay. Oh, my bad. Stop, ahead, stop, stop, stop your mediocre basketball knowledge if you're going to be sitting there and saying that about Clay Thompson. Didn't Clay Thompson come back after... All Star Breaker, something like that. Yep. Yep. Not a full season. Come back after All Star Break. Um, was averaging what, like fifteen points a game for a person that hasn't played in two years? Right? In the full full like what do you listen to yourself talk? So how do you these people say they have basketball knowledge? Or you pay attention? How? I I don't know, Davinci. I really don't. I don't. So, Gary Payton Jr., the second. Hey, yo, I appreciate this guy. I appreciate this guy. I am happy for him. He is one of the people who are a game changer for us, okay? Because defensively, they call him the mitten. Nah, he's the he's the second coming of the glove. Young I don't glove. ain't no mitt. You're a glove, baby. Okay, if the glove don't fit, you must have quit. I'm joking. Listen, I know that's a bad joke. I know that's a bad joke, people, but I just told you I jump out the window with these things, okay? But anyways, Jordan Poole, oh, hold on. We were having an argument. I, I need you to settle this for me, sir. So we were having an argument inside uh, one, one of these stereo conversations where these gentlemen brought up Derek White. Is it Derek White? Is it, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's Derek White, right? And and Jordan Poole and... um. They were trying to say that they were comparable. Do you know what I mean? Now, one of the gentlemen said they're not comparable because when Boston won their game yesterday, you didn't really hear a lot of talk about White. Oh, not yesterday, but the, the, the first game one. You didn't hear a lot of talk about Derek White being some huge game changer. But this whole playoff series, uh, this whole playoffs all the way up to the finals, everybody's talked about Jordan Poole. You know what I mean? The, the the third splash brother. You know what I mean? What is your take on this, sir, before I go any further? Because I, I thought I'd bring some of these conversations to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's the same thing, though. I'm like, I don't understand. How do you get this logic when every series, it's not comparable. It's, it's far from comparable, in my opinion. Because every series in the playoffs, guess what? Every series, before the series talk, they're talking about, oh, Jordan Poole is going to play a pivot role in this series. Next series, they're talking about Jordan Poole. Are you hearing anyone saying that about Derek White? Like, Derek White has had a few big games in the playoffs so far, and now his name is coming up to Poole for what Poole has done the entire series, in my opinion, the most improved player, the real most improved player all season. Like, what are we, what, 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 I want 
to know what what basketball these people are watching. I, that's what I want to know. Hey, fam, I can't tell you. Please, we both know. watching the we both watching the game, but I guess we have seen different things. You no, know but I mean? please explain to me how does how is that comparable? One guy that's talked about in every series, and he's talked about like you said, oh, third shot. It uh, it's raining pretty hard. Okay, I thought it was hailing. I was like, I was supposed to start crying from my truck. Like, oh my god, you know what I mean? Yeah. But anyways, yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. Neither do I, sir. I, I really don't. You know what I mean? It, it, uh, it boggles me how we can compare Jordan Poole, who's going to be the future of Golden State, compared to Derek White, who we know is forever going to be a role player. Like the responsibilities are too different. Yo, I get you on that, King. But for me, it's just like Jordan Poole has been killing it the whole season, right? Yeah. Right. He, listen, his type of play was like all-star level if he wasn't on the Warriors with so many of them. There. That's already been all-star, right? And like I said, a whole season he's been there. And while Clay wasn't there, it was him and Steph Curry as the Splash Brothers. Yeah, no, and for real. Clay comes back, so it's third, Splash Brothers. So I'm trying to figure out here, and please make me know if you can make me know how is that comparable? Because Derek White, we've seen it. Derek White had like two games or a couple games in the playoffs that he played very well. Not taking After nothing his away kid from was him. Born. Yeah, not taking nothing away from him. You go get, you do your thing, young man, right? Yeah. But can we be for real here? Like, stop it, man. Ridiculous. I feel you. I feel you, sir. But then, yeah, you know, uh, Porter, uh, Otto Porter Jr., okay, he gave us a little three no. points. No, no not three rebound. points, but, yo, you see, he, he is more than three points, though. That guy I was just about well. to break it down. I understand. I, like, defensively, okay. he was kind of there, you know, doing his thing. You know what I mean? Hey, hey now, I can't pronounce your name, but I'm going to steal something from Floyd. All right? Yo, Floyd, I'm sorry, man. Balenciaga. 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 Don't Balenciaga. correct me. I'm trying to give somebody <laughs> some shouts out and creates a little bit of comedy here, okay? Balenciaga. <laughs> I know that's not how you pronounce your name, but that's how I'm going to keep it, all right? Shouts out to Floyd. Balenciaga came through with a little six points, five rebounds. He did his thing, okay? I feel like they need to play Kaminga more, you know, just a bit more to help, uh, uh, help push the pace, especially when they get turnovers. Because those are easy deuces for them all the time. You know what I mean? I'm not going to hate on um, Boston. They did play good defense in the beginning. Like, there was a lot of layups that got sent off the backboard. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. they, they were there defensively as a string. But now that we got that over, that's done. Who wins game three? Go ahead, Da Vinci. The floor is yours, sir. Um, I think the Warriors win game three. Um, yeah, the Warriors win game three, and the way they need to win game three is similar to what they did in game two, but even better. Um, don't miss so many open layups. Take care of the ball, and let's stop some of the dumb shots. Because as you can see in that third quarter, what made the Warriors so good in that third quarter is when they were going, driving the, the ball, taking it to the rim, right? Kicking it out for amazing, good, good percentage shots, right? They hit them. Everybody's taking the ball into the post, driving it, driving it. That's what makes the Warriors good. Steph Curry came back in the third quarter. Come on, steps in, start hitting these two-pointers. If the Warriors play like that most of the time, it's very hard to beat them. And they take care of the ball. Now, for me, Steph, keep doing your thing, man. Do your thing. Clay, do your thing. Listen, the whole Warriors team, do your thing. I just need y'all to play defense for four quarters. No more free shots, because yesterday in the second quarter, when I see Derek White butt naked in the corner, and y'all stared at him like, and let him shoot open threes. Y'all made me almost break my monitor. I need y'all, do not take these guys lightly. You see what they did to you in game one in the fourth quarter, right? Yo, Brown said, I do it. This ain't happening. And he came through and dropped up. Now, yes, it wasn't very efficient. But still, 
he came through a drop, I think, 17, 17 or more points in that quarter. You know what I'm saying? And if, you, if you're going to contain JT as much as you, you can, don't let him get anywhere near 10 assists. Actually, don't let him get anywhere near 8. Because you know they're playing ISO. They, they don't have a quick essential point guard. Well, guess what the Warriors have? They got three of those. Actually, no, I'll be fair, two of them. You know what I mean? They got Jordan Poole. No, you know what? I'll be, I'm will be. i going to be honest. I'm going to say three. I'm going to put Curry there. Curry's more of a scorer, but I'm, I'm still going to put Curry there. They got Poole, Draymond, and Curry. Let's just facilitate. And guess what? Shout out to Steve Curry to realize you can't play Iggy in this series. He ain't ready. Let him sit there, collect his fourth ring, and chill. Okay? He's a break in case of emergency. That's all the time you need to draw for him. All right? Let him sit. Let him chill. His legs ain't ready for this. Okay? Ain't ready for this. But um, Warriors game three. I think the Warriors take game three. Game four will be Boston. It might be vice versa. But game four will be Boston. And uh, cause I, I'm still saying Warriors in six. I'm not. I'm not one of those delusional fans that's gonna be like Warriors in five. Come on, man. You have to have a little respect for for Boston, and you have to have respect for uh, Adoka. He's gonna figure out something that's gonna work for them. You know what yeah. I mean? And the Warriors do have a lapse in judgment sometimes. They get a little too full of themselves, and they start playing around with the ball, being stupid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think uh, one of the keys for the Warriors in this series, too, they need to play uh, Belicia more um, because it, when I was watching it and as soon as he came in, he actually changed the game. If you watch the games in context and detail, um, he made a good three. He got a couple of rebounds, you know, and his size, his size helped a bit because, you know, the Warriors are not big. And that size played a very big part in it because, while I was watching, this, certain Boston players will drive, and as soon as he cuts into the paint, you know, they, they, they dish the ball back up, and it ends up as a turnover. So, he completely, he, he changed the game a lot. I think he needs more playing time in this series, for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I think he does need some more, but I, I also think Kaminga needs a little bit more than him. I know Balenciaga <laughs> can shoot, okay? And he does play good defense to an extent for a guy who's yeah. not really athletic. But I think if they put Kaminga in there, they can really run and gun. You know what I'm saying? Like, that rebound, the minute they catch that rebound, and you, you see it in the series. There's more than a couple times where Curry or somebody got the rebound, and they already think they, they toss that joint up. And that's the one thing I think with the Warriors that makes them so much more dangerous than any other team that Boston faced, that they – have no problem sharing the ball. They yeah. have no... And also, this too. Boston. Let me roll my sleeve up a little bit more for this. Oh, oh. Courage of power, okay? He said courage of power, okay? Ah, yo. If y'all let us keep running that high screen and, screen and roll, y'all are done. Done. And your big man, they better show. They better step up. Or else it's, I want to. Every time, baby. I want to. You get me? I got I got the Dubs in six, but I think the Dubs. No, I feel the Dubs are gonna win game three. I think they're gonna push the momentum, but I'm not gonna put past put it past Boston to win game four. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? With their backs against the wall, realizing that hey, listen, we gotta get this done. They're gonna try to figure out a game plan. Very very uh, ideal situation would be. For the Warriors to go in there and take two in Boston. Oh, of I mean, course. That, that, yeah, that that would be a very ideal situation, right? And try to go back home and, and win it on your home court. That that would be, you know. Uh, but listen, um, game three, Boston is gonna come out. They're gonna come out strong. I think for them, um, Tatum and Brown, they gotta be very aggressive. Um, and when see when it, when those but they two have guys to be are smart aggressive, aggressive though, because they've been aggressive. Yeah. Well. Not really. I'm, I'm Not honest. both of them at the same time, right? No. Like it's, it's aggressive, and then they're just putting up and shooting threes, right? We know they can do that. But when those two guys put the ball on the floor and attacking the rim at the same time, what does that do? It opens shots for Al Orford, Marcus Smart, and White, right? That didn't happen yesterday. So you see, that's why it didn't go up. 
So in the third, you remember in game one, Jalen Brown, right? He kept attacking, attacking, attacking. Especially you know, in the draw fourth. All, yeah, draw all the attention. He kicked out, and all these guys are hitting big shots. Yeah, that's but, the, awesome. but that's the thing, though, Da Vinci. That plan would have worked if the Warriors didn't say, yo, what the heck are we doing? Because they tried that same issue yesterday. And what happened? On, on, on What happened to them? Yeah. But I, on I thought Sunday, only one they, of them, got, they got their tail kicked from the third quarter on. Only one of them were aggressive yesterday. I mean, That's true. You know, That's true. Yeah. There's, both of them weren't, weren't aggressive. And I couldn't even say actually both of them were aggressive or one of them. Because Tatum... For him, it was like mainly just pull up threes and a little. But he has that away. shoulder injury that he's not complaining about, and I'm not trying to make an excuse for him. Yeah. But I'll tell you all this: I've had knee injuries, I've had Achilles injuries, I've had shoulders in, sh- shoulder injuries. If you're playing a sport like that and you like to be physical from time to time, and people notice that something's bothering you, they are going to hit. They're going to pick at it, and it's going to make things very difficult. So I don't want to hear nobody try to make it seem like Tatum isn't injured. He's injured, but he's playing hey. and he's not complaining about it, just like Jimmy Butler did, okay? So we got to give him his props and respect for that. But that's as far hey. as it goes, because I'm not hey. no Boston uh, uh, lover either. I, I was happy just, for KG and Allen, but that was I wasn't happy for Pierce. I didn't really care for Pierce, you know what I mean? Yo, I yo, really hold on. Yo, bro, you, it, this, KG is my boy. And that's the only one on that team I had to fight and dig deep and dig deep to be happy for him. I had to dig deep. I, I, I could I could dig myself. deep for the big big ticket because he deserved it. He spent all no. that time in Minnesota suffering. I was like, you know what I mean? Hey, yo, my guy Kobe. It was King. I didn't want you it to was... lose that one, okay? But you got your revenge, though, Mama. You got your revenge, right? Set the old heads packing. It wasn't. It wasn't about KG. It was about Boston. That's I know, I know, me. but I, I had to separate I was, it. I told you already, man. I did. I love the I league. Did. Then it's players. Then it's teams. You know what I'm saying? So the love that I have for KG, I'm like, pause. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to just, I was upset. Me, Carter almost fought. Because I, <laughs> I was like, semi-happy for KG, <laughs> but upset because Kobe lost. And he looked at me like he wanted to stab me in the face. Because, like, you know what I mean? He was like, you talk about Kobe here. This Lakers, like, you should you should be popping no bottles. Like, there's nothing. I'm like, yeah. what? KG, what? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. anything possible. Yeah. Shout, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, like, to, shout out to Carter. He's an he's a LA guy, right? Oh, Car- 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 Carter's a, a Kobe guy. Okay. You know I mean? Yeah, shout out to him. Because there we go. Because, yo, it's hard. It's hard. I feel you, I feel you. But yeah, I, I say Warriors, you know what I mean? At least game three, maybe game four, you know? We, we just got to see how Boston reacts to it. Yeah, I agree. Okay, but yo, listen, people. Hook us up with that HBO special, okay? The only way we know if this stuff is hitting is if you hit that like or dislike. Hey, we all here having bads with ourselves. And if you want to join the show, just go on Instagram, DM us. We'll bring you on. Ain't no, ain't no slack, man. You, you want to come up here and, and bring the smoke? Bring the smoke, man. I'm all for it. The bitch is all for it, okay? But we're on Apple, we're on Spotify, and we're on IG. All right? Might have a TikTok soon. Not too sure. But anyways, though, it's your boy, the host of the most man with the plan of the hour. T-E-C-G and my guy. Hey, yo, like, comment, and subscribe. Or the man is going to come around your head and stop. Bust your blood clot, <laughs> <Hey, fuck. laughs> <Break it. laughs> But all right, man. Until next time, people.